this video we're going to go over a few points to working with firecrackers. I think that the most important point to know if you ever in your life want to touch a firecracker is safety. Would you really rather lose your finger to a great explosion? So remember to keep the distance and don't light it in your hand. And of course, make sure you know what you're doing. The second point is the unpredictability of firecrackers. For example, this one was made too tightly that all the power of the explosive load shot out of the fuse hole. It's that simple. An example of all the force shooting out of the fuse hole is just one of the many, so gather your experience. Another extreme would be if this firecracker actually worked. That would be a massive bang. You see, with explosive compounds, you have to understand, for example, if you take some natural cellulose or black powder and light it in air, it doesn't explode. But if you pack it in a firecracker, you somehow let it in there, then you get a sped up reaction where the gases being pushed away by the burning compound don't have anywhere else to escape and therefore cause an explosion. Of course, there are some exceptions with the ability of compounds to explode under no pressure. For example, nitroglycerin, flash powder or C4. But if we're talking homemade, you probably won't use these. And that will be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed. See you in the next one.